Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today we're going to be doing a reading focused on what your person regrets most. I want to thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. I want to give you all love and um, gratitude for being here and sparing, sparing, sharing, sparing and sharing time with me. Um, I thank you all for the likes and comments that you all give me as well. And I do want to give a reminder. I do have a lot of services open. I have one-on-one -on -one private readings. I have live stream readings, pre-recorded readings. I also have healing up as well. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in any of that stuff in the community candle that's focused on fulfillment, check it out and um, I'll see you there. Only get it if you feel called to, okay? It's very important, <laughs> all right? Um, let's get started. So uh, who's going to be answering? We have Metatron who steps forward to answer the questions this day. Metatron, can you tell me what's currently happening in um, Gemini's person's life right now? I am getting the scene of them sitting on the couch watching TV yet again. Um, I do feel like this person has a lot of that pastime. Um, watching TV on a computer, um, legs up kind of thing. I do feel like they are a pretty hard worker and I think that they actually have a lot that they do. And this time that they spend on the couch and just surfing and honestly kind of distracting themselves is a bit of relief when it comes to some of the pressures and expectations that their life has. All right. Um, how else is this person's life right now? Uh, a little bit empty, a little bit devoid. Some of you, this person is in a relationship or they definitely have a roommate. It's what it feels like to me. It doesn't have to be a relationship, I guess. But I saw someone walking into the kitchen and it's like, that person's there. I don't know. Right. Uh, I don't, it is what it is. That's like, like that person's just there for some reason. I see that too, as well. You know, um, when I was thinking about moving, I had thought about, should I get a roommate, right? Or should I have my own place? I end up doing my own place, of course. But um, the beings of light were saying no to anyone. And one of the things that I have noticed for myself is I'm able to relax more without anyone walking around. Except it's that might have my babies, right? You see one right here. Um, you know, like I have them, but that's it. And I feel like that that connection, even though it may, it may be... Um, hmm. It may be like, you know, uh, to, um, a money saving, right? To have a roommate or to maybe be in a relationship with someone, but that really is taxing. It's doing more damage than one realizes is what, is what Metatron wants to say about that. Um, I wouldn't have been able to heal as fast as well because some of my healing, I had to scream, right? And you, are you going to scream if there's a, there's a roommate or, you know, other people around? Can we be real about that? <laughs> we really be real, right? Um, it's just something that is coming through very strongly. I think some of their healing has been um, become stagnant because they weren't able to like express themselves. And um, one of the things that is our, our biggest issue here on earth is we have been conditioned to not express ourselves the way that we feel divinely guided to express ourselves. And that includes crying. It's like crying is actually the big one. <laughs> or sometimes it's, 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 it's like... Um, releasing and throwing a fit or because we have, you know, it's part of it. You know, if we get conditioned, you shouldn't do that. Or you look crazy. And I feel like this person has some of that energy and they are very much held back by that as well. And it's why they, they're, they're in this little bit of a, um, sorry, a manager said moat, moat, M, I don't know if it's M O O. I don't know. Um, yeah, moat, moat. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what that word means. Remember, everyone, I did not graduate my college. No, I didn't do any of that stuff. Anyway, but moat. All right. Um, any anything else about their life that you want to give for? Um, a, a Gemini's person, Metatron. Let's see. He says it's not all bad. Uh, what do you mean by this? There is a person in this person's life that is very beneficial for them. I feel like it's a friend. There's a very strong feminine energy, though. Um, uh, but it doesn't have to be a woman, per se, but very strong feminine energy that has a good impact on this person. And this person does look towards them and look to them as for guidance and assistance when it comes to things. Um, Metatron is saying that some of you, this could very well be yourself, by the way. Um, who is this? But I feel like there is another person as well. And um, so it's not all bad. Um, there is some highlights, but I do feel how they live their life or uh, the, the ways that some people, I, I kind of want to give the other example that Metatron did bring forward. You know, I know that we look at taking the bus, right? I live in Chicago. That's all they have, right? And it saves a lot of money. I don't ever take the bus anymore. I don't ever do that. But I, I remember when I used to have to, and that would be draining of your energy just to, to take a bus, right? Um, and I, I know you, you would take the bus to save money because you want to take an Uber, but 
it's like it's important that you understand that. So something that I this is gonna be so off left field, but I don't know who needs to hear it. But understand, like let's say you're trying to go to a place to get an interview. Don't I would I would uh, try your best to take an Uber or something because the energy that you're gonna be absorbing and that's gonna be part of you that you're gonna take into that interview um, or your life, right? Um, it's going to impact it. So it is uh, something I, I don't know. He he wants you to bring that up as for someone I don't know. It is what it is. Okay. Um, let's see. Can you tell me how does this person currently feel about Gemini, uh, Metatron? There is a placeholder in this person's life that they're saving for you. They have saved a cheat, sorry, saved a seat at um at the table for you so that you can come in one of these days. I do feel like there is no contact between you and this person, or there's definitely a long distance kind of connection here. Um, because I see I see distance and um they they have reserved their seat that's next to them for you. And they really want you to be in that. I do feel like this person cares very deeply for you. And they don't, I think in the past that they were kind of not really getting why they felt so deep for you, why they felt so intense for you. But now they've gotten well past that point of fighting it, right? Or looking at it logically, not understanding it and then fighting it, right? So this is someone who's just accepting, I have deep feelings for them. I know how they feel very sure how I feel. And that's that at this point. Um, it does feel like it's settled, right? Um, it's a settled, I want to say a, a, a settled topic, right? You know, something that they used to um, go uh, over in their mind, but it's pretty much settled at this point. And that's how they feel right now about you. And let me see, it, it's a, uh, I'm sorry, no, Metatron, can you tell me, is there any more here um, when it comes to like this connection, anything else that Gemini needs to know about uh, maybe uh, how to get it moving or anything like that. What do you have to say about this? He does su suggest to you, um, a Gemini, to let go of it. Um, it's, the, it's the key thing to do. It's kind of like um, watching paint dry. If you were to watch them, it's going to dry when it's going to dry, right? You know, it, it's why would you sit there wasting your time to do it, right? And this is one of those things where it's going to solve itself. It's going to fix itself right? Why waste your time worrying if it's going to happen? It's going to, right? It's what is, it's naturally moving in that direction, right? So he does want for you um, to just let go of this all together and surrender to what is now so that things can move forward faster. If you are watching the clock, right? And you're just continually staring at it. You know how slow time goes? crazy how slow it is. It's outrageous. Um, you know how fast time is moving for me because I don't watch that clock so fast. I, I'm shocked at how, what, what year it is. And I don't even know at this point, right? And I tell you this because it's easiest when we are surrendering and just living our life the best way, right? Not so focused on these time uh, tables, not so focused on um, um, other people, other things. When you focus on yourself and when you love yourself and when you appreciate yourself and make your present moment happier, it just feels so much better. And that's one of the best things right now that um, that Metatron is stating for you to do to stay um, Gemini. It's just, you know, it's it's moving in that direction. Just let it go, right? It's like, oh my God, right? You know, just, just give yourself a break. And that's kind of what he wants to say to you. And again, I'm sorry about the internet. I will restart the the router after after I, I after I do your reading anyway. Uh, let's see, let's see. So um, Metatron, can you tell me, is there any other feelings that they have right now towards um, Gemini. Some of you, this person is uh, thinking that you are their twin, or they're starting to get uh, a lot of insights into whether or not you are or, or not their twin. Um, it, it feels very strongly. Um, this person, they're just accepting more of, uh, I feel the things that they never thought that they would accept uh, in their life and in their belief system as well. It's just like, there, it's, there's a lot of like this energy of, I'm, I gotta settle with, I gotta, I, I like, I have to just put this to rest because. I know what I feel and I know it doesn't make any logical sense, but I got to just accept it. So there's a lot of that energy happening towards their feelings towards you. Like I, I know I should not feel this much towards someone, right? It doesn't make sense. Right. Um, I feel more for them than I, than other people I've had in my life for a decade or my whole life. Right. And this is, it's like, they're sitting here like this, right. You know, not getting it, but in the past they were very resistant. Now they just, you know, I got to accept it. So I feel like they, Someone told them something. They felt like it's twin flame, though. But uh, you will have to figure it out on your own. All right. Um, all right. Okay. Let's see. So, what? How? Do, what are this person's biggest regrets towards um, a Gemini? 
All right. I see this person standing next to someone, um, someone that is not you and you're in front of them. And in this image, I feel like they end up choosing, choosing someone else and choosing a connection that wasn't you or choosing um, a situation that wasn't you in the end. And I'm not sure what this is. Somebody uses, it feels like it's a third party, but it's third party can be anything, but it feels like that. Like some, it could be a lifestyle, right? Um, uh, it, it's interesting. Metatron says it was more by design than you realize as well. I know that we don't technically look at those experiences, definitely not at the start, as like, oh, it was meant to happen that way, or it was for the highest good to happen that way. But it feels like it was more designed to be that. A lot of you may have had a rejection wound that you needed to be brought to the surface. Being rejected by the person that you love the most, that you are, that you've ever felt this amount of love for brings that rejection wound straight to the top and um you do have to face it so i feel like that rejection wound would have been actually very painful for you but you needed to move through that and the only person that could help you heal that rejection wound that needed to be healed so you can be who you're meant to be was this person so i i know we can go ahead and be like f you f everyone we know we can do that right or you can be like you know I get it, right? You know, I, I get it. Very painful, um, but it is there. I think a lot of you's had the rejection wound, massive one. I feel like it was very deep, very big, and it just it brought, brought to the surface the moment they did it. And um, so he does state this. It was by design. They were always meant to reject you, right? I feel a lot of you may have actually gotten um, your rejection. You may have rejected them back as well. Um, but if you haven't, that may be coming, but it feels right. And what uh, I am receiving, it, it was by design, the only way to deal with that and to deal with it fast, quick, and dare I say easy, right, um, is to have them do it. And it, I know that it was painful and traumatic and honestly mind blowing, but it was more by design than one realizes. All right. Is there anything else about how this person, what this person regrets? They always saw you as you, but they held on to whatever that was out of loyalty or out of like, I should do this. And it's typical programming, right? We should do this, but our mind, our, our minds, our, our heart says this, our mind says that, right? What do we do? And this is someone where they don't typically follow their heart that much. And um, it's because I feel like they were following what they were taught. Um, you should uh, someone's in your life longer than you're loyal to them or some um, someone didn't do anything wrong that you can't leave them even if you don't want to be with them or something like that. It's some craziness. And this is someone where they're just, they, they were in that energy when they didn't make you a priority or they didn't choose you. And it's something that they regret now um, because they know it was you. It's interesting. It's funny because normally I don't get this. Um, Normally you think you have someone here who's like a, who's a bit of a ditz and they don't really know what's going on. They're just looking around like what's happening. I, but I felt like this person knew how much they cared about you. <laughs> um, it didn't make sense to them, but they knew they were very keen on this. Um, but it wasn't going to get them to change their mind. Uh, what was influencing them was how they're conditioned, how they were programmed and what they were taught that they should do in this type of situation. And it wasn't the right thing because this wasn't what their heart said. And um, now they realize that. And that person also has their own lesson to learn, right? I shouldn't just do what everyone says you should do. I should follow my own heart or my own gut instincts or my own intuition. Do you know how big of a shift that is for people? Oh, everyone says you should do this. And then you do it, and you live your life horribly, but you know, everyone says it. But to think for yourself, ooh, that's a big one. That's a big leap. So I think you both got really big lessons here between you and them. Um, yeah, you really big lessons that you've learned that only each other could have taught. And you can go ahead and be angry at that or look at it as, as the beautiful thing that it is, all right? Is there any other regrets that they have? They see you as the one. Yeah. I don't know if that's a regret. <laughs> I don't know if that's a regret or not, but um, I, I, it is what it is. They see you as the one as well. All right. Um, let's see. Is there any guidance that you have right now, Metatron, for Gemini? Um, um, Metatron wants, he has a statement. He says to keep it real, Gemini. And I'm not sure what that means exactly for you, but I think that you're going to know what, uh, what that means maybe in the coming days or weeks, um, what that means. Keep it real for now. And I think always probably, um, I feel, um, one of the things that he is stating is that we often have trouble with is, <sighs> you kind of want to make sure that you are looking at things um, for what they are and not what you hope they are or not what you wish they could be. And, ooh, yeah, the air came out. Mm, I knew it. Mm. 
and then start to like look at what you should do for yourself in your life from that perspective. Because if you're looking at, oh, what I, what I hope things are, you're trying to make choices from something that isn't actually real yet, right? It hasn't been created yet. So it, it may not even be created or it may be created later, like seven years from now or something like that. So you kind of want to make sure that you're being a little bit more, um, uh, you're being more grounded, right? And looking at things as they are and being more real about what you need to do next. Because I don't, I don't know if this person is going to be taking any action towards you. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like that, that's, that push is there, there, right? Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you should be waiting around for that or you should be hoping for that. You know, what could you do that's going to make your life better now? And I made that, I had that choice myself, that crossroads. I had it too. And I made the choice to choose me. And I, um, I know I, can tell you what I did, right? Um, what you could do for yourself and when you're ready to do it, do it, right? But you will probably almost certainly choose yourself, right? Um, and you will never regret it, but that is what it is. You're not not choosing them, right? You're just choosing me and that's the point. Um, and that is what the guidance that's gi being given from Metatron is, all right? I thank you, Gemini. Please don't forget to like and comment and check out all of my services. I am offering healings, by the way. Um, Akasha Karma Clearing steps forward for you and... Private readings, somewhat for some of you, but the those those two really did, all right. Um, and I also have a community candle all about fulfillment and getting us on a path towards fulfillment and a faster path. So if you're interested in that, check out the community candle. It's real cheap and take care. Bye, Gemini.